Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. This is Brandon, Fire Daddy Tarot. Tarot out some cards for you today, Aries. Just some general reads. Start your month off right. Welcome to July. We're going to try a little different thing here. You guys let me know what you think about it. Mondays, Fire Signs. That means you, Aries. Tuesdays, Earth. Wednesdays will be Air Signs. Thursdays will be Water Signs. So, let's start this week off right. Start this month off right. My Aries friends got Terror the Divine. Thank you guys for being here with me once again. Appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for hitting the like button again. All your comments, your subscriptions, your support. Can't do this without you, my friends. I want to ask Source to help me see and speak clearly for my Aries friends today. And hope Aries see and hear what they need to see and hear out of this for their highest good. Thank you, my gods. I can't do this without you. Dog hair. All right. Tear the divine out. General read Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. See what comes out. Oh, we got the Eight of Pentacles here. Working on something right now in your world, Aries. That's what it looks like to me, my friends. Working on something. Aries working on something. What we got? Tear the divine. You know what? Now that I've already flipped it over, let's take these four off the bottom here and see what we got. Hmm, look at some nice cards here, Aries. Like you're working on your money situation to me, dude. Get a six cups. Be a card about like nostalgic feelings. Um, feelings of joy as well and sentiment. Working on something you love. That's what you're doing. I don't know if this is a business or if it's your job. Got your energy here, Aries. King of Wands is here. It's fire energy on that. King of Wands is a focus-driven individual, male or female. Doesn't matter. Ace of Cups here, man. Talking about filling your own cup. Filling your own cup here with uh, something you're passionate about. Putting in some hard work for it, too, man. I like this. This is great. Yeah, and at the end here, we got the King of Pentacles, the King of the World. Um, doesn't necessarily have to represent, like, your fire energy, but you could have some earth in your chart. You could just be harnessing this King of the World energy here and uh, really working on your money situation. It kind of looks like you're working on a project a career path something that you're very passionate about you love it this card to me the six says you um loved it for a while it might be a lifelong passion you're working on filling up your own cup with it and making some freaking money with it man definitely making some money with it let's grab the uh terror of moon garden i'll we'll clarify with it this week see what it wants to talk about for my aries friends today please Terror of the Moon Garden, what you got for Aries? Aries out here working on a uh, passion of theirs. Looks like it's going pretty good for them, making some money, stacking up some coin. Could be a business, could be your job. Guys, let me know in the comments what you're working on. Always love hearing from you. Always love hearing from you, Aries. All right, Moon Garden Terror, what you got? We got one that jumped here. Nine of Wands. Mm, Nine of Wands to me a lot of times is about facing your fears. We got this chick, you can barely see her here, poking her head out from around that tree, checking out things. Checking out things, Aries. Not sure what you're facing your fears about here. You might be going out on your own here. Like I said, this looks like a, uh, a passion of yours. You're probably starting a business. That's kind of what I'm getting. You've been putting in some work. You might have been working a little bit of double time since you're working on this passion of yours and probably still working a full-time job. I think you're starting a business, Aries. I think you're starting some kind of business here. And it's a, uh, a field that you're passionate about. But I do see where you're making some money from it. It might be a little scary right now, like especially if this is the first time you've ever tried to start a business. like. But it's going good for you. You're filling up your own cup with this beautiful energy, you know, this passionate energy. And like, King of the World's here. It says you're making money, dude. It says you're rolling in money right now. 
Yo, Justice is here coming out on that Six of Cups. I would say you might be getting ready to transition to your business full time. Maybe that's also why the King of Pentacles is up here. Maybe you're making enough money to go ahead and transition. If not, you probably will be soon. Justice is here. It talks about balance. Um, and it's coming out with that six there. So I would definitely say you're probably about to transition into uh, pursuing your passion full time. I see where you're stable enough in it that you can quit your job. It might just be a little scary right now. You might just have to kind of face your fear of, oh, shit. You know, someone's not going to be paying me. It's all on me now. Nothing wrong with that, though, man. Nothing wrong with that. I love it for you, my friends. Yeah, Eight of Swords here. Some more of that kind of fearful energy going on. Um, I'd say you've been thinking about it for a while, but it is coming out on your King of Wands there. Your energy is coming out on. I feel like you're having a hard time putting your head around giving up the security that you have at your job for this new business you've been working on, even though this business is seemingly giving you enough returns. And if it's not at the moment, it will be soon. So if it's not at the moment, just wait a little bit. But if it is, like, this looks like the time to jump to me, the time that you've got, like, maybe some resources saved up, and you're also making enough money from this business to replace your full-time income from your regular job. And you're maybe just a little fearful about jumping because, oh, crap, what if the business fails? Well, if the business fails, what you do is you just go back to work at a regular job. And, you know, talk to your current boss about it. Be like, hey, man, I want to go full-time in my business. Can we cut me down to part-time or I'm going to quit? Would I be able to come back? Do it in a way that you'll be able to secure your job if it's a thing you want to go back to should this fail. But I don't think it's going to. Not with the King of Pentacles sitting beside the Ace of Cups. I don't think this is going to fail, man. I don't think it's going to fail. I think it's, you know, you're pursuing your passion here. And a lot of times pursuing something you're passionate about, the money and the success kind of follows that. Because it's about your passion. It's about serving others with your passion. And that's how we manifest in the good things is with the good feelings. All right. What else we got here? Yo, more work there. Another eight of pentacles, man. Lots of pentacles here. You've definitely been putting in a lot of hard work on this of filling your own cup, Aries. I think the time is now to uh, go ahead and pursue this full time. Only do it if you're ready, though. Only if you're ready. Seven pentacles. It's a card about divine timing, my friends. It's coming out with that king of the world there, the king of pentacles. I think it's time, Aries. I, I really do, man. And if it's not time just yet, it will be very soon, most likely. I love this, man. This is a great spread for an Aries that I'm reading for. And I got some Aries in my chart, and this is kind of resonating with me right at the moment. Um, It's a great spread for you. I love it, dude. This is great. Let's grab some uh, yin-yang oracles in this Aries. See what they want to talk about on this. Aries uh, been putting in some uh, double time work, working on their business on the side. Aries I'm reading for either is already making enough to go ahead and quit their full-time job, or they will be very soon. So let's grab the yin-yangs, see what they want to talk about for Aries today. You might just be a little bit scared of this transition, my friend. That's a normal reaction to things. Detachment, cold. Yo, you might not want to go back to that job if you fail this business. You might want to just look for something else. But I don't think you're going to fail this business, Aries, so I wouldn't worry about that energy too much. Past, lack, and suffering. Okay, I had a feeling this might be connected to the past. You do have that six of cups there. It's about nostalgia. Um, and maybe in the past you've tried to start a business before and failed. But you know what? Try, try again, my friend. You just keep trying. And this business you've started now that is actually a passion of yours and it's something you love, looks like it's going pretty damn good for you. There is pinnacles all over this, dude. What do you got here? Avoidance and stalemate. You're indecisive in your mind right now. That's what this is telling me. 
you're kind of avoiding um, going full time, even though it's what you want to do. And I think it's because you're worried about your security. You're worried about your security, but I don't see where you need to be. It looks to me like the Aries I'm waiting for here has taken the steps to be able to go full time. And now it's time to jump and it's like, oh my God, this is scary. But I don't think you need to be scared. Renewal, spark. Maybe that's what you need, Aries. Maybe you just, Aries, maybe you just need to kick yourself in the ass a little bit. Get a little spark here. Maybe you need to start a new project in your business. I don't know. But I think if you go full time, it's going to give you a renewed sense of energy. That's what I'm seeing here, man. Yeah, we got some more Earth energy here. We got the Earth Ace coming out here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's coming out over here with the King of the World and all those seven pentacles there with divine timing. Like I said, there's pentacles all over this. There's Earth energy all over this area. I think you have taken the steps necessary to do what you need to do here. I would encourage you to do it. Just do it in a smart way. I know how Aries can be because I am an Aries. Sometimes we rush things and do things in a stupid way. Because we rush things and we get excited. But also, don't be in your head too much because I think you're going to be just fine. One more card. I got the sexual magic oracles out to play with this week. Um, I know this isn't a love read, but still these cards can give some great insight. We're going to get one of these for you, Aries. Nice looking spread here. It says you're rocking it out in this business you're passionate about. And it's time to go full time. And you've been preparing for it. You've just got a little fear about it, which is understandable. Don't let your fear stop you, though, man. Freedom. Yo, freedom come out here, man. Freedom come out here. And a lot of times this is what we're looking for when we start working on our financial independence is freedom to do what we want to do. Freedom to run our business in the way we want it run and to contribute to the world our energy in a way that we see fit. Aries, it's time, my friends. It's time. I love you guys, Aries. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.